What is up guys, it's Kane here from Vortex Labs, back with you with another video. Today we're flying the Skydio 2 and we're going to go test out the new firmware. So, let's get started. Artless IO. Music licensing reimagined. Looks like we'll have to go check it out to see if there's enough light because the Skydio 2's obstacle avoidance actually needs quite a bit of light. Uh, actually, let's see. Maybe? I think we're gonna make it. I think we're good. All right, everybody, welcome back. Here we go, so let's go over all of the brand new features in the brand new Skydio 7.01 update. So, to start off, we have, there is a brand new case landing feature. Did not specifically state it, however, I'm assuming that they're working on their own obstacle avoidance system. We also have the increased beacon range. So now the beacon can go, when tracking and controlling the Skydio 2, it can go from, instead of, I, be, I believe about 10 meters, it can go to about 40 meters, which is about 150 or 130 ish feet. So that's a drastic change. And I know so many people wanted to see that change. So I'm glad Scottio worked on that. That's a great feature. With the phone, the range gets extended to about 66 feet. So you still get quite a bit of range, especially with your phone. So they also added a little feature called nudging. So when you're using the controller, you can nudge the drone so you can make minor movements when landing to precisely land. However, if you're using case landing, it'll just do it all on its own. Anyways, I'm super excited to try these features out, so let's get this bird up in the air. Hold the takeoff. Here we go, propellers are spinning. And there we go, we have taken off. So here we go, here's a Skydio 2 up in the air. So like I stated earlier, primarily in this video, I want to cover essentially what the Skydio 2 is capable of now with this brand new update. Let's start off with the case landing feature. So. That is one of my favorite new features that the Skydio team has worked on and added into this update. So I am super excited to share this with you and actually show you how it works. Let's go ahead and just fly around a bit so we're not in the same exact spot that we took off. So let's just fly around here. Now I know there's a small common misconception with the Skydio 2 and its case landing feature. Um, and that is when you are actually landing it, you do not need to tilt the camera down so it can see the case. All you have to do is hover somewhere over the case so that the drone will be able to see it because it tilts its camera down when it goes and lands. So you don't need to manually tilt it down. So far I've used it several times and it's super reliable and I love it. Hover on over here, let's go up a bit and we will begin landing. So three, two, one, hold the land. All right, so that looks pretty good. Okay, as you can see, when case landing is enabled, there will be an orange icon that appears on your mobile device's display. And nudging is available, but I'm gonna let it do its thing. I'm gonna let it land completely on its own without my intervention. And there we have it. Skydio 2 has just landed. All right, so it looks like the weather got in the way of this one. We got the video done in time though, so that's good started thundering and raining on us, but I was able to bring the stuff back in time, so we're all good. It was clear and sunny, but the weather kind of came out of nowhere. But anyways, let's head back and wrap up this video. Artless IO. Music licensing reimagined. All right, everybody, if you like this video, smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. We have drone content all the time, all about Skydio 2, all about tech. Weekly live streams at 9 p.m. on Fridays. Stay tuned. 
As always, live, fly, repeat.